Right now, the toxicology reports are out on Rudy Eugene, the man known as the Causeway Cannibal. The details are breaking off the top at 5 o'clock, and the results, we have to say, are surprising. Yeah, CBS 4's Antonio Moore is standing by in our newsroom and has the latest. Antonio. Very surprising results, Rhiannon and Elliot. The Miami-Dade County Medical Examiner completed its toxicology exam on Rudy Eugene, and the only drug found in his system was marijuana. The lab test did test the lab did test for other street drugs, alcohol, and prescription drugs, and they did not find any. The department also ruled out the most common drugs found in what are called bath salts, which many believed may have triggered the extreme cannibalistic behavior. The examiner asked for the assistance from an outside forensic technology reference laboratory, and that lab also has confirmed the absence of bath salts, synthetic marijuana, and LSD. Eugene was shot dead by police in the so-called Causeway cannibal attack on May 26th, where he critically injured Ronald Popo by eating off a portion of his face. Popo is still recovering at Jackson Memorial Hospital. In the newsroom, Antonio Mora, CBS 4 News. Right now at 6, the results are in. We now know what was in the system of the so-called Causeway cannibal. Cannibal, Rudy Eugene. It's a story developing right now, and CBS 4's David Sutter has the latest for us from Miami. David. Antonio, a lot of new information coming in in the last hour. This is a story that gained international attention because of how wild it was. A man biting off the face of a homeless man, literally disfiguring him. Everyone from the very beginning said that Rudy Eugene had to be on something. Well, we now know he was on something, marijuana. And that is the big surprise here. From the very beginning, police officers and medical experts had theorized that Rudy Eugene was perhaps on something called bath salts, a drug that's making its way around uh, South Florida, and it causes users to be extremely violent and erratic. According to the medical examiner's office, there were no traces of bath salts, synthetic marijuana or LSD and Rudy Eugene. It was a month ago yesterday this horrific story took place. Eugene was coming across from South Beach on the uh, causeway when he happened to cross Ronald Popo, a homeless man, and began attacking that man. The attack lasted roughly 15 minutes and ended when an officer shot and killed Eugene. Eugene had a few run-ins with the law, but nothing serious. This is old Bond Court video of him. His family and girlfriends said that he wasn't a zombie or a causeway cannibal, as some called him. Rather, they described him as a Bible-carrying good man. They suggested that this perhaps was voodoo. Since the attack, Ronald Popo, the man who had his face chewed off, he's been recovering at Jackson Memorial Hospital. He lost one eye and his nose. Now, doctors are hoping they can save the one eye he has left. And a recent photo that you see here he was, that was released from the hospital, he was seen walking around. Now, Papa lost about 50% of his face. We're told that they've raised a, a last check, about $15,000 for his recovery. But the bizarre news today is that everyone thought Rudy Eugene was on something very serious when all this happened. And as it turns out today, it was nothing more than marijuana. We're still working the story. We'll have more developments coming up on CBS 4 News at 11. That's the very latest from the city of Miami. David Sutter, CBS 4 News. First at 11, what was he on? The toxicology report is now in, showing what drug the Causeway cannibal attacker had in his system. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Shannon Horry is off tonight. A lot of people thought that Rudy Eugene was on a powerful drug, possibly bath salts. Well, tonight, we know it was something else. CBS 4's David Sutter reports from Miami. The horrific story of a Miami man dubbed the Causeway Cannibal is taking yet another bizarre turn. Exactly a month ago today, the world learned about Rudy Eugene and the horrific attack he carried out in the heart of Miami. The young man was caught gnawing off the face of a random homeless man. The 15-minute vicious attack wouldn't end until a police officer shot and killed Eugene. We have seen already three or four cases that are exactly like this. From the very beginning, police and medical experts suspected Eugene was on something called bath salts, a trendy street drug that makes users act erratic and extremely violent. A toxicology report released Wednesday showed Eugene was on something, marijuana, not a single trace of anything else including LSD or synthetic marijuana. He adamantly didn't want to even get involved with anything else. Those who knew Rudy suspected he never was on bath salts. In a way, there's a feeling of vindication and a lot of questions. Maybe he was just too hot. His girlfriend told us off camera Rudy Eugene is no zombie or cannibal. These results in her mind further proves voodoo 
led to his demise. And poor Ronald Popo, the man who had his face chewed off to lose one eye and his nose. These latest developments give little insight to what exactly happened on the causeway and why Ronald Popo ended up here in the hospital with 50% of his face missing. As he recovers, some $15,000 has been raised to help him get back on his feet. From Miami, David Sutter, CBS4 News.